Hi there, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Papa Joe, and today I have something very interesting I'd like to share with you. And it's usually it can go unnoticed. We have a vector. Is it a vector? Like a vector. One of those insects, those parasites, I would like to call them, that affect things. And today I would like to bring your attention to what they call hog lice or swine lice. That problem has devastated me for like the past two, three days, but all is well now. And I would like to share with you how i combated it how i fought with it and in this video i'll be showing you the details how they look like how you can also prevent it in case you have pigs of your own so ladies and gentlemen stay tuned and let's definitely dive in so ladies and gentlemen what exactly are hog lice i don't know if that's the right english i feel like that's the right english what exactly are hog lice me too i also had that question in fact uh, at first i had confused them for ticks you know I, I thought you know pigs get ticks but then after some research apparently they don't they are not susceptible to ticks hog lice are like the smaller version of ticks they are very tiny i'll be showing you they suck blood off the pig they are parasites basically and they spread the disease they cause irritation on the pig's skin that's going to cause it to over want to scratch itself when you see like a pig is restless has too much energy it just wants to scratch itself and see i was lucky enough i found them in their early phases but there were so many which means when they are severe cover the whole entire pig dangers are it can scratch itself and cause sores on the skin it's not easy to identify because they're so tiny you would have to real examine the pig to real see them the hog lice have no effect on us as human but they disturb the pigs so much but luckily these white ones they were okay found that they were fine uh -huh. as you can see if your pig has hog lice it will scratch itself here or anywhere it can find so that it can remove the irritation but in so doing it will cause like wounds on its skin so how exactly did I notice that there were hog lice among my pigs? You see, it all began with Madame Napoleon here. So there I was doing my usual thing, sweating her usually. And then I noticed, I don't know if you can see from here, I quickly noticed that there were so many insects crawling on this pig. So I put her down like this and then examined everywhere. But then on noticing, they were actually everywhere. The pig was covered. It was having too much energy, jumping all over the place. Whenever I would come around, it would scream. So I used to think, you know, as you can see, she's a bit pregnant. So I was thinking maybe this is like a pregnancy thing. They were here, 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 here. There were so many. So I panicked, naturally. I panicked and I was like, how am I going to solve this issue? At first, I thought there were ticks. On close inspection and doing some research, I found out it was hog lice. So now, what is the solution to this problem? Just right here, yeah, they had clustered all over. You may not be able to see clearly, but there is just so much scar tissue here. So where are they usually found? They are found in the folds of the skin. For instance, in the ears, they say mites go in the ears. But then the hog lice, me where I found them, I found them here at the back. I found them in the folds here, in the folds of their just right here that's where i also found some so as you can see unfortunately for madame napoleon she had nowhere to scratch all this is cement so she had too much energy you know jumping all over the place i was like but how can a pregnant pig have that much energy well the other white one is graceful i don't know about you guys maybe it's just me but does she look pregnant to you leave a comment down below and tell me does she really look pregnant how do you exactly tell how a pig is pregnant is this you know someone told me that uh, their teeth come out, they protrude. I don't know, are these teeth protruding? Uh, uh, I'm not really sure. This stomach is not small. It's a big stomach, but I'm not sure. I don't know whether I feel any babies in there. Luckily, what we use to control the ticks in cows also kills lice. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the insect side, as you can see. Sa, sa, sangatras, one, uh, 125, sangatras, 125. But any insect side with an active ingredient of amitras, I found out that any insect side with amitras as an active ingredient kills the lice, the hog lice. You don't have to get this brand, you have to get an insect side with an active ingredient of amitras right there and you will have no hog lice. So for purposes of demonstration, this is water. It's not the drug because I sprayed her yesterday. You have to do it once a week. After putting my gloves on, 
I started to spray, not on the face. This is water. Because it likes water, it will do this. Come. Good. Yes. So I started to spray the pig like this, focusing on those areas with them, you know, in the folds of the skin. This is water, by the way. You are to make sure that you spray your pig properly. Properly. Ensure that it's properly covered within the insect side. For you, if you guys want to see the action, please do follow me on TikTok. My name is still the same, Bakwa Joe on TikTok. What are the do's and don'ts with hog lice? Clean the other side, the other pigs, before I come with the infested one. Because if I started with this one, I would spray the disease. In fact, in my panicking, I went to the other side. But after spraying this, I also went, I checked on the other one, did what I needed to do, and the spread was no longer there. So <clears throat> that is what I would advise you not to do. I'd advise you to first handle all the other pigs and then handle the infected one last so that they do not spread. So as you can see, she's comfortable now. She is not restless. Those are the symptoms. If your pig has lice, it will be restless. It will be mm -hmm, grunting all over the place. How did hog lice come to my pig farm? At first, I was also very confused. I was like, you know, I was bragging. I was like, my pig is very clean. But then I noticed that after construction of this other unit, the outlet, I did not cement it. As you can see, it's not cemented. Leading to these damp areas, you know, the channel water as you can see water would come out and stagnate right here leaving humid areas you know humid conditions i'm suspecting that this right here was the breeding ground because i mean all other pigs don't have they are not close to the outlet it's only madame napoleon and she was the only one with lice i'm going to be working on this i'm going to be cementing this area you know maybe put a pipe let the water flow without st stagnating here and then maybe see if it reduces somehow <laughs> Not to go in there. This right here is a temporary solution as I work on the cementing. But this at least water can flow without it stagnating. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to hog lice, I feel hog lice can be very, very deadly because they are vectors, they can spread disease, they can cause irritation. I would encourage you guys to get rid of this monitor your pigs ensure that the lice problem is dealt with immediately because in severe cases if it is to spread then getting rid of it is comes a problem so if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe hit the notification bell so that whenever i upload these videos you are notified and we can embrace farming and hopefully smile at the end of the day so ladies and gentlemen keep farming and keep smiling and allow me wish you a very good day come